Hello, in this video, we will be showing how to configure the whole Arbox Relay HF. So well, when I mean to, to configure, it means to select the proper switches and the proper jumpers uh, in, in order to work, in this case, with the hardware serial RS232. Okay, so the protocol communication the RS232 uh, with the hardware serial. So, uh, the, the, the PLC is already open. Uh, there is another video in which I show you how to open uh, correctly the, the whole case. Uh, you, you can go to that video and see how how I do that. But I, I will be showing this uh, with with already already opened. Okay. So the the, the first thing uh, that we will configuring will be the the switches. Okay. Uh, in order to configure the switches. This would be the, the configuration of the top part. There is also another video uh, which I show you how, how to configure uh, the switches. So in this case, I'm configuring this for activating the hardware serial 232 or 45. And this is disabling the, the relay 7 and relay 8. Okay. Uh, if we go to, to this side, Uh, this one is the one that it's called not connected, so it doesn't matter. Half full duplex, it doesn't matter because it works with the 45. Now um, I, I will repeat it, but uh, we're working for the hardware uh, serial 232. Uh, this one is also doesn't matter. Okay, if you want to enable the relays or the relay 5 or the input uh, 00. Uh, this would be this would have to be on if we want to the I to see. So th this four they, they doesn't matter. And also these four uh, they also doesn't matter. But uh, telling in consideration that these two configure the RS45. So as we are working with the 232, the 45 is completely disabled. So uh, there is no sense in having this in on mode. As they won't work because the RS45 is totally disabled. So the the good configuration would be to enable the IO5 and IO4 uh, to 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 enable these inputs as as the RS45 uh, it's totally disabled. So we we go to the interesting part, which is the the jumpers one. There is also a video which I show you how to configure the jumpers. So uh, on the first side, uh, we've got the one that is closest to the frontal uh, switches. Uh, this one selected uh, between the half duplex uh, RS45 and uh, two analog outputs. Um, by now, uh, it is configured for the, for the RS45 full duplex, which the uh, which are now uh, the RS485 is totally disabled. So there is no sense in, in having this configured for the half duplex. It is better to enable the analog outputs. All this, it's also it's only useful if you are using this analog outputs or you think to use the, this analog outputs. If, 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 if you don't, don't use the, even the 485 protocol or the analog outputs, it really doesn't matter. But the, the good configuration would be now to configure them as the analog output. Okay, now I'm getting this one. If, okay, one here, and the other one. So it needs to be connected to the analog outputs. This doesn't show you uh, how to how to work with the 232, but it is also no. It's also good to know how to how to have the proper uh, configuration. So I will place them here. Okay, as you can see now, I'm enabling the the analog outputs as the RS485. Uh, it's not working at all. Okay, the the rest ones uh, they directly. Are they I, uh, they are uh, directly related with the RS232, and it is really important to have it configured correctly. 
So on the first hand, we've got the bottom one part, which is this one. Um, this one selects uh, from the hardware serial of 232 or 45. So as we've told, uh, we're configuring for the 232. Uh, we need to place it to the ones that are uh, closest to the external part, not the center, which are the, the 232 for the hardware serial. Okay, so I'll be collecting this in a second. And the other one. Oops. I can do it by hand, this one. And the last one, it also relates the uh, RS-232 communication protocol with uh, the inputs, uh, input uh, 02 and 03. So in this case, as I've told that we will be configuring this for the hardware serial 232, there is no point on configuring this for the software serial 232. See, it's the, the main function of, of these jumpers. So uh, the option uh, is to configure it for the the inputs, which are the ones that are closest to the center, not, not to the external part, which is already configured. So uh, if we summarize everything, this would be the, the, the whole configuration of the hardware serial 232. So if we go here, if we place back this, these ones, these four, they doesn't matter. This one, they also doesn't matter for the hardware serial uh, 232, but it is recommended to active the 2 and 4. So 2 and 4, uh, place it in on, as 1 and 3 are working for the 485 uh, communication protocol, which is not uh, enabled as it is disabled uh, due to the 232. These ones need to be connected, the 1 and 3, to the on mode uh, in order to establish the 232 or 45 communication. So relate 7 and relate 8 might, must be uh, totally disconnected. If we go to the jumpers, uh, these ones, uh, they doesn't matter for the hardware serial 232, but as we are not working with the 45, uh, it is better to connect them to the analog outputs. So it would be the the not the closest one to the to the switch. Uh, if we go to that part, this is the most important one because it selects between the 232 or the 45. So we need to select it for the 232, which is the ones that are connected to the more external part, not the center. So this the two of the this part to the two of the middle, and this one that is really hidden, it needs to connect. Uh, it connects between the software serial 232 or the inputs. So if we, as we are working with the, hard, uh, with the hardware serial, uh, there's no point in configuring this for the software serial. So uh, the inputs must, should be enabled, must, must be enabled to, to work with this. So this would be the whole configuration for uh, working with the hardware serial of 232.